Let's see. Okay. So Docker has been installed now. So we'll discuss in this like Docker basic commands. So first I will check Docker hyphen hyphen version. So we have Docker 20. Docker version is 20.10.7. Okay. Now so uh, there's a portal is called Docker Hub. Okay. So let's go to Docker Hub. so here all the images so there will be a private images and there will be a public images so let's take a public images that is so this is your official so if i'll take docker pull so their first command will be docker pull reddish wait sudo space su root user now let's try so docker pull is run so there is a docker pull command okay so now if i do docker images so you can understand that there is a one image okay so one command we understood docker pull so here we have available tags okay so you want to have multiple versions of docker mm, that is okay so if i'll do docker pull this one so i can install that alpine version okay so you can so if you docker pull reddish okay so now it is if i'll do docker images so we have reddish So we have two versions. One we have Alpine versions. One we have latest. Okay. So if I don't give that tag, uh, like uh, version version details, like six point two five dot four, all those things, then it will take latest one only. Okay. So we understood two commands. So Docker pull, Docker pull with tag. Okay. Then Docker image. Okay. So now we understood two. Okay. So now what what should I do? So let's wait. So now let's I uh, will take one more, some more like take MongoDB. Mongo. So if I'll take Mongo Express, so if I'll take this one, then we can say that this is the latest version. Okay. And uh, now let's take uh, Mongo also. Docker pull Mongo. Okay. So we have now four images, right? So let's. Now, if I'll do Docker images, so you can see we have four images Mongo Express, Redish, Mongo, Redish. Okay. So now, second command is Docker run and I will run Redish. Okay. You can see. So Docker is running. Okay. Now let's take one more tab. So sudo space su and do docker ps. It will show uh, and docker ps will show only that running continuous. Okay. So let's I will do here if I'll go and control C. So we have exited. Now I will do here docker ps anywhere. It should not so. So there is no container, right? So so first we understood that uh, docker run, but now if if uh, if I'll the same 
window. If you like to continue, then we should run as a detached mode. Like in, it should run as a background. Okay. So Docker run hyphen D and we should give radish latest. We'll give this should not now it is running in the container ID. Okay. So now do Docker PS. Sorry, in Docker PS, it should show running container. If you would like to see uh, that uh, like which was a stop also, like all the containers it was created, then PS hyphen A. It will show if container got exited also, you can see that all the containers details you can get it, okay? So now show you what we understood so far. So how to run images, how to pull the images from Docker Hub, how to run that image, then how to run that image as a detached mode, how to check what are the containers are running, what are the containers got exited? That also we understood. Now, if you'd like to stop the container, start the container. So we can Docker stop. We can Docker container also. We can do Docker stop also. We can give container ID. Now, so it's got a stop. If I know Docker PS there will be one container. So that let's also stop Docker, stop this container also. So now we understood. So now if I do Docker PS, no container. If I do Docker PS hyphen A, you can see all the containers got exited. So now we need to start Docker container. So Docker start will give both the container ID. So we can see once or it is happening or not. Okay. So both we have started, right? So now if I do Docker PS, so both the containers are running. So we understood like if it is multiple containers, also you'd like to stop your start, that also we can do it. Okay. Now, what else? So now this we understood. Now there is a command is called docker logs container id if i give you can see so you can get that log details when was it started when what exited all those things okay then docker so now This we understood. Okay. So now we'll understood we can we have multiple. So Docker, if I'll do Docker PS. Sorry. Okay, so we have two containers running. Okay, so now we have both are both are accepting uh, same ports, right? So now we need to port forwarding. Okay, so how you can do that port forwarding? Okay, so in so how we need to do Docker? How you can do? port forwarding okay so what you can do is docker okay so docker hyphen p no, wait wait docker run hyphen p so we are port forwarding right so we are taking 6000 okay to 6379 
and uh, what I need to do is okay so six three seven nine then we'll give that container name okay you can give port forwarding then we'll give container id let's see no it is not working so how we can do port forwarding So let's wait. Just 